hi guys welcome back to my channel today I wanted to share with you some items that I purchased for spring in anticipation of nicer weather so excited for it the first thing that I want to share with you is kind of well the first two things are kind of a cheat because they're not exactly accessories although I do think that lips are your best accessory I love a good lipstick and I wanted to share that this is the first time that I'm wearing this this season. Um, it's a beautiful, bright, in your face orange, and I love it. Um, this is the Kat Von D Everlasting, Everlasting Liquid Lipstick in the color Agogo. And usually, like, orange-red lipsticks are my favorite, and I will wear them all year round. I don't need a season for it. But... In the spring and summer, and especially the heat of the summer, straight up orange. Now this might be coming off looking a little red orange, but this is really just straight up orange. So if you love an orange red or you're interested in trying just a straight up orange, this is such a good one. So the second thing is a little bit of a cheat as well because it's not an accessory, but I wanted to share it with you because I just bought it a couple days ago and for some reason it's been life changing to me. I don't know why, but I'll try to explain. So, a white tank top. This white tank top I just got from Old Navy and I am a firm believer that for some reason Old Navy every spring summer they come out with one perfect tank top. Last season it was like kind of a burnout tank that was a little longer in the back and shorter in the front and it had a little pocket um, off to the side and it was just the perfect tee and this one is even la I mean there's nothing really fancy about it there's no pocket there's no detail the hem is straight across in the bottom but for some reason the way that this tank top contours right here if you can see and I'm, I'm wearing a razorback bra with it because I think it just it, you could have some bra situations going on otherwise because it does cut in but I think that this contour is so attractive and this is like a cotton with a little bit of spandex in it and so it's one of those and I've already washed this because I already got something on it but it's one of those that it, it really is like it goes back to its shape because it has a little bit of, bit of that spandex in it and it's just so nice in fact I bought it in a green color as well and it's inside out because I was just wearing it <laughs> earlier um, but I bought it in this green color they also have it in like a tomato red and black but I bought two of the white and one of the green and I'm just loving it and here's an interesting tidbit for you so this weekend I was wearing I wore the white tank top to bed with I normally just wear pajama pants they're just like big old gray cotton wide leg pajama pants and I came down for breakfast and my husband was standing and looking at me and he was like you look like you've lost weight and I granted like I've been working out a ton and I'm doing Weight Watchers and I plan on doing a video on that so I am slowly 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 losing a little bit of weight but that wasn't it like he was just like you look really slim right now and I said I think it's the tank top I really think that it's the tank top and so I wanted to share it with you because it's just one of those that I'm like do I need to go back and get the red one and the black one because I don't normally wear red tops or black tops but I feel like I need to go back and get the whole dang thing because I just love it having a good basic is so important to me so I wanted to share that with you even though it's not an accessory but it helps all of your other accessories shine and that's important okay so a good accessory for spring sunglasses of course these ones I got recently at Target and um, they've had a picture on their signage of this shape but in a um, like a faux wood and I've been looking for them since literally December they've had that sign up there and that is something that is close to my heart because I used to do visual merchandising and signing signage for a retailer and I was like um it's not fair that you put that sign up in all of these stores and you don't have that pick a skew that everybody carries well they just started carrying them now I've not seen the wood ones but the black ones I love and I just love that they're I think it's is it Karen Walker that has really large oversized sunglasses and they're like $300 I feel like this is kind of a similar look and I have a pretty like oval not oval but around 
I just have a round chunky face. <laughs> and normally round glasses on a round face don't look good, but these ones I love. And sometimes the rounds, like the the lens is actually too small for my face. And so it just makes my head look bigger. And this is such a nice medium. Have you guys seen Bobble Bar's new line called Sugar Fix that's available at Target? Um, I love Bobble Bar. I've been buying online from them for years now. And I think that they're kind of a good mid-range. Their stuff isn't too expensive, but they came out with a more inexpensive line for Target. And it's awesome. I've, I've got two pairs of earrings from there. These ones are just little... Um, jeweled studs with four little tassels and they have these in a ton of different colors it just has like this straight back um and i really really like these i'll try to insert a picture of me wearing them but i've gotten a ton of compliments on them and they're just so cute and again you just wear these with a basic white shirt and jeans and a cool lip color and it's like so easy so i really love these and they're like half the price of I would say half the price of Bobble Bar's normal line, or maybe, maybe a little less, maybe a little more than that. But you can tell a little bit of a quality difference when you look up, up close. Like every edge of the tassel isn't perfect. I have these beaded earrings next, and every bead is not lined up exactly perfect. But the fact of the matter is, when they're on your ear and you're standing so many feet from someone, like you really can't tell, and that's totally fine by me but they have a lot of cute um, necklaces and a bunch of different things and a ton of colors and these were the two that were my favorite but these ones right here bobble bar has a ton of tassel earrings right now so this was kind of a cute um, you know cheaper take on their tassel earring and I just really like them I feel like they're not as snug like especially the other ones they Kind of feel like they're gonna fall off of my ear sometimes and I guess they're just a little bit cheaper in that way but they have it and they're fine and again they're just super cute and I know that they're both kind of similar but I love me some blush pink in the spring so these are super cute okay the next thing is again with the tassels um, this necklace that I got from Zara and it came as a set it's two separate necklaces but I'll, I'll try to insert a picture again but it's just two necklaces and one of them just has a little tassel and then the other one has a bunch of little bright color tassels and I just thought that that was really cute just a nice little detail so another accessory that I really got into this past winter and fall and I still feel like is valid for spring is scarves and wearing neck scarves now it all started with this neck scarf right here, which has a really cool horse print on it. And I got this one from H&M probably six or seven years ago, and I never wore it. And I've really trying to be very mindful about what I buy, what I keep in my closet, and making sure that I use everything and that there's not anything like this that was just hanging in there for literally six years, never being worn. And so, um, I kind of challenged myself to wear this as much as I could and I tell you what I'm obsessed and I took it on a recent vacation to San Francisco and if I can find the pictures and figure out how to insert them here I will um, but I wore it in a bunch of different ways so this was the one scarf that I brought and I are brought with me and I wore it a ton of different ways this is kind of my favorite way to wear it is just kind of longer not doubled because that looks crazy but um, you know there's just so many different ways that you can wear a scarf and maybe perhaps that's an upcoming video so let me know if you want to see that but um, I went on sort of a after not wearing that one scarf for six years I went on like a scarf binge and was like now I need all the scarves and so I ended up going to um, ASOS well ASOS you can't go there but you go there online and I found that they have a ton of great options so these ones, um, I think they're still available. I'll see, but basically this one is a huge square scarf, which is actually the same. Um, this one is also just a huge square, which I find is very versatile for again, doing that like long, you can, you know, wrap it up and wear it long. You can wear it. Um, I love to fold it in half 
and make like a big triangle out of it and then you can sort of wrap it around like this way and not underneath or you can bring it forward and wear the knot in front, which I've done a lot. Um, there's just a lot of different ways that you can wear these. So that's what I've kind of done with the larger ones. And then I also bought, this one is a small square bandana, which you can wear this way. Um, and then this one also from ASOS. And this one is as well from ASOS. These are the same size. But this little one is cute. You can wear that just like this. But then if you fold this, I like this one because it's actually half color, so it can kind of be dual purpose. It's like two scarves in one. But this looks cute, again, just worn, like knotted in the back, like that. Um, and I just really like it. There's so many different ways to wear it, and you can wear it in like a super preppy, like business lady way. You can wear it in a super like hipster cool way. You could wear it in your hair, which does not look cool on me, but you could wear it in like a turban or around hat or around a bag or around your wrist. There's just so many different ways. And I think that it's, this is such a great versatile piece to take on vacation, kind of like I did and just wear the heck out of it. So anyways, I've really been loving that. And now I don't need to do a video because I just kind of showed you all the ways in like one minute. So there you go. But if you want to see more, I will. Um, and then the last thing that I have is two pairs of shoes. So again, kind of a carryover from fall winter that I've loved is kind of the flat form trend. And these are not new and this is not really a part of this haul, but this is to tell you why I bought the new ones that I did. So these shoes right here are from Vince and I got them from Nordstrom.com. And because I don't live near a Nordstrom, I live near a Nordstrom rack, but it doesn't cut it. So anyways, I love the Nordstrom shoe line or shoe section as does everybody. And so these shoes are so awesome. I've loved them. They're so comfortable. I, again, I took them on that trip to San Francisco and I literally hiked mountains, like not knowing what we were going to do for the day. I was wearing this and my scarf. And we did a, so much walking and I was like, wow, these are the most comfortable shoes ever because they were newly purchased before I went on that trip. So I loved these so much. These are such a dark, heavy, shiny color that really for spring and summer, I probably will put them away and be so excited to bring them out in the fall. But I had been coveting online these pretty ones also available at Nordstrom but the fun story here is that I found these at a really cool um, salon that started to carry shoes in my own downtown like just walking distance from my house and I was so excited about it um, I have not worn them yet um, I've, I've just worn them like literally around my house but they're so cute um, and I put these little rubber um, things on the back because I have a feeling because these kind of come up high this is like kind of a little cheat that I do all the time. A, if I feel like I'm going to get a blister on the back of my shoe. And B, if a, if a shoe is just a smidge too big and my heel slips out, I kind of put that in to cheat the difference. And it just makes it comfortable. And I cannot wait to wear these. I just, I know I'm going to get a lot of use out of them because those black ones from Vince have been my everything. They're my favorite trend because they're cool and casual and comfortable. And that's everything I'm after. And the last thing that I have for you is shoes that I, again, featured in um, my other spring clothing haul, but at that point I hadn't worn them out yet, and so I kind of wanted to update you. So these are from um, Target. They're the Dolce Vita, the DV for Target. And at that point I hadn't worn them yet, and so I wasn't sure because this is such like a rigid espadrille that I was concerned that these weren't going to be very comfortable, it was going to feel like bricks. Well, since then I have worn them only one time, but I can tell you that they are pretty comfortable. And I mean, it's not, they're not super hard to walk in. It might take a little like getting used to the fact that it's so flat, but I've really liked these and they're super comfortable. So cute. And again, with a flat form, flat form and espadrille, two trends in one shoe. So super cute for spring. All right, that's all I have for you today. So thank you so much for watching and um, that's all. I hope you have a great day, guys. Bye.